What's good everybody? Welcome to Blur's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USB-C server certified coach and today we are taking a look at the all new Nuclear Forge from Motive. Before we get into it, this is a great time to be sure that you're subscribed. It's free. It's the best way to keep unbiased reviews like this one coming. So while you're down there, make sure you hit that notification bell too so you don't miss out on the next one. You'd never guess it, but Motive's newest release in the Nuclear Forge is being touted as their cleanest and most angular piece the company's ever made. The Nuclear Forge follows in the footsteps of the Iron Forge as the flippiest pearl symmetrical option in their line. Inside the Nuclear Forge is the same core as all of the other forges, the detonator core with a low 2.47 RG and a high 054 differential, and this time is wrapped in the Propulsion HVP pearl cover finished to 5500 grit polished out of the box. Notably, this cover formula is technically new to their line, however, is derived from the covers used on the Ripcord launch and the Supra Rally. For the layout, I went with a four and a half by five by four 2LS layout. This is the same as what I had on my IQ2 or Ruby, as that's been one of my favorites and most reliable symmetrical pearls for the last few months. And even though these two pieces aren't identical, I see them filling a very similar place in my bag. And on the lanes, I think we actually have a truly angry high risk, high reward type of shape from Motive. This nuclear forge looked okay to the right of fourth arrow, catching a few good hits as I moved inside. But once I got to the place where the ball could actually use the oil for 40 feet and be about as clean as any ball on the market today, the results were pretty great. It takes what they tried to do with the iron forge and does it better. Normally sequels like this one land flat and don't live up to the hype, but since this one takes a truly unique place in the Motive lineup, I think it's a great addition. Having a ball that runs sideways off the spot isn't always the right answer, but when you need it, it's the only thing that works. So motivated bowlers are sure to be pleased adding this one to their bag. But for most, this is going to be more of a situational type piece than a go-to benchmark type ball. Anything that is this clean through the fronts and the mid lane is going to be hard to control. So you either need to bowl in a high friction environment or wait until transition sets in before you grab this one. But if you were to pair this one with a Pride Dynasty and a Blue Coral Venom, I think you'd have about as well rounded of options as any three ball bag. The Dynasty does a great job handling fresh conditions without giving up entry angle and the Blue Coral, while still clean, much like the Nuclear Forge, is much more core dominant and goes much more forward off the spot. It's a set of three pieces that might not be perfect on everything, but for almost any league setting, you at least shouldn't have to out bowl bad ball reaction. For our cross brand comparisons, I first took a look at the IQ Tour Ruby, and you can see how similar it is to the Forge. Although the IQ is slightly weaker overall due to the lower differential, it's still very clean through the fronts and spins up quickly off the spot. As someone who's really taken a liking to the Ruby, I see this as a great sign that the performance of the Nuclear Forge will be there when the lanes are fried, and I need one that will get down the lane and through the pins just right. Second, I grabbed the all new Ethos from Brunswick, and first, it's pretty obvious how this one is more balanced between core and cover strength, as well as being stronger overall. That HK22 additive in the Ethos really gets this thing to jump off the friction, which when thrown to the correct spot is great, but when I miss, I pay the penalty. If you're looking for a do everything type pearl, this one may suit you better than the forge, but you also better be ready to adjust the surface as necessary. But with that, let's jump to the recommendations for the bowlers I think would match up well with the nuclear forge. The first is bowlers with a high axis of rotation. This is a purposely designed piece for motive and those with a lot of axis rotation will be able to maximize on this ball's capacity to run left off the spot. It'll be a situational kind of use for these players players, but for a situational ball, I think that's okay. The second is bowlers who bowl in high friction environments. If you're still bowling on wood or are in a center that you struggle with having to move inside early and then can't carry a 10 pin, the Nuclear Forge will give you a look that will stay on the correct side of the head pin and get into a good roll that will certainly get the corners out. The all new Nuclear Forge from Motive adds a great, unique piece to their lineup and adding it to your arsenal just might be the thing that causes your competition to go into meltdown. And you can pick this up today and much more at bowlersparadise.com. Be sure you use that discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Thank you to my friend Nick Pluff for the drilling of this piece and to Dales Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews, and as always, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hands 
Now that's a polar's paradise. Peace. <laughs>